right, just a little bit of an update. We've been very busy in the studio this last few months. We have literally written a lot of music. I I'm not going to say how much, but we've got several things in the tank now, and I'm very excited about it. Uh, we're working on another thing. I, I'm not sure when it'll be done, but I expect it'll be sooner rather than later. One of the common things between all these, th these things that I have in the tank is that I've been doing a lot of sampling. Uh, what I've been doing is before I, like, I write out lists of all the samples I want to capture, then I go to our, one of the music stores here in Calgary, Alberta called Long & McQuaid, and then rent a sampling device in H4, Zoom H4n or H5 or whatever it is, uh, or H6. I'm not sure. I've had a couple of different devices that I've used, uh, but we've been sampling, and it's. I find it very exciting. I love doing it. Uh, there are all kinds of custom sounds you can pick pick up in your field recordings or samples, stuff that no one else has. So when you're sampling different things uh, out in the environment, whether it's out in a city or a town or, or out in the wilderness or even in urban environments, uh, you're getting custom samples that no one else has. And uh, I, I really like that. I really like the, the uniqueness of the samples. And I'm, I'm very inspired by the sampling process. I love going on adventures, on sampling adventures or field recording adventures out in the environment and grabbing stuff and then of course after you've grabbed everything you wanted to you dump it into your uh, your computer and start your computer or digital audio workstation and start refining those samples and manipulating them and turning them into something else, into instruments or just different sounds and stuff like that. Percussive sounds. I like picking up ambient sounds, like sounds in an environment. And yeah, uh, just highly inspired by the sampling process. This, once again, this thing we're, I'm currently working on, uh, there is sampling. Actually, the last several things I've been working on, there's there's a lot of sampling involved and I just find it very exciting. I just wanted to give this update and I'm just very excited about the process right now and I find it really fun. I, you know, if you're looking for custom sounds that no one else has, I highly recommend uh, renting a sampling device, whether it's an H4n, Zoom H4n or H5 or whatever it is, or even, even some of the sample devices that uh, like the I think it's the MPC MPX 16 I think you can sample with that uh, Akai MPX 16 I think you can sample with that I'm not sure if it takes batteries or not but if it does take batteries you can obviously take that out into the environment and start sampling things and you know doing stuff like that so I, I find it really fun I highly recommend that you uh, if you're looking for custom sounds, go rent a device, go out into your environment, go sample stuff. Uh, you know, it could be vents, it could be cars, it could be people, it could be ambiences in bars, it could be, uh, you know, percussive elements like hitting on a, a piece of metal with a rock or a drumstick or, or some kind of mallet of some sort. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, rubbing tin sheds you know just all kinds of stuff and I would highly recommend it uh, I am going to give you an example of what we've sampled I've, I've, I've got a couple examples hopefully you can hear the sounds here these are a couple of examples that I've grabbed Not sure you can hear that, but it's a little bit of a, uh, a pulse groove type feel to it. I've named it street groove because it's got a bit of a like a, a groove feel to it. It's it's very subtle, not too loud. I'm I'm gonna take it in and manipulate it further, and yeah, 
There's another one here. This is just a vehicle going by. That's it for this video. I just wanted to show you those examples. Just some stuff that I've grabbed. They're, they're pretty... Yeah, hopefully you could hear them in the video. I would say they're fairly generic. Uh, well, maybe not generic, but you know, they're fairly... They, they seem to be standard samples uh, when you're out in your environment and I just grabbed them because I wanted to grab those sounds. So anyway, I hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you feel this video has value, please share it with your friends or musician buds or whatever. If you're trying to start an industrial band, maybe share it with your industrial, the potential industrial band members. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And if you feel this channel has value, please subscribe. That's it for this video. I hope you're doing well. Stay safe. Fuck it.